Hello, my name is Michaela, and today we are going to be discussing the verb to be. This is what we call an irregular conjugation. And irregular conjugations or irregular verbs are verbs that don't follow any sort of pattern. So these verbs you just have to memorize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the conjugation of to be, and I'm going to leave enough room so that you can repeat after me. Are you ready? I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are, and that's it. To be is one of the verbs in English that can contract. That means we can take letters away and combine words to make it flow better, to make it sound a little bit better. I'm going to give you now the contractions of the verb to be. So instead of saying I am, I can say I'm. Instead of saying you are, you can say you're. Instead of he is, we have he's. Instead of she is, we have she's. Instead of it is, we have it's. Instead of we are, we have we're. And instead of they are, we have there. But what happens if you want to put the verb to be in the negative? It's something we say all the time. So in order to do that, we have to add the word not. So here's the conjugation of to be in the negative. I am not, you are not, he is not, she is not, it is not, we are not, they are not. And it gets even better because we can also make contractions with the negative form. All of the conjugations, except for I am not, has two different ways. So for I am not, we can make it I'm not. For you are not, we can say you aren't or you're not. Instead of saying he is not, we can say he isn't or he's not. Instead of she is not, we can say she isn't or she's not. Instead of it is not, we can say it isn't or it's not. Instead of saying we are not, you can say we aren't or we're not. Finally, instead of saying they are not, we can say they aren't or they're not. If you want to ask a question with the verb to be, all you have to do is take the conjugation and flip it around. So instead of saying, I am, I would say, am I? Instead of saying, you are, I would say, are you? Instead of saying, he is, I would say, is he? Instead of saying, she is, is she? Instead of saying, it is, is it? Instead of saying we are, are we? Instead of saying they are, are they? And that's all you have to do. You just have to take the conjugation of the verb and place it before the subject. And that's how we ask questions in the affirmative. But in the negative, we're gonna do a very similar thing. You have two options in the negative. You can have the contracted form or the uncontracted form. Let's start with the uncontracted form. It's exactly the same as what we just learned for the affirmative. All you do is you switch the subject and the verb. And then you're gonna add not. So instead of saying, I am not, I would say, am I not? Then we would have, are you not? Is he not? Is she not? Is it not? Are we not? Are they not? And that's all you have to do. With the contracted form, it's a little different. We're still going to change the order of the verb and the subject, but we're going to use the contraction between the verb to be and the not. So I would have, aren't I? Aren't you? Isn't he? Isn't she? Isn't it? Aren't we? Aren't they? So I know that was a lot of information for you. Please go back, 
rewatch this video, watch it as many times as you need. And if you have questions, or if you want to learn more about the verb to be, be sure to hop into a live class and we'll see you soon.